Welcome back to Raw Sports Talk. I'm Chris, your favorite stat reader, and we have the Kings hosting the Suns, and the Kings are six-point home favorites. The over-under is at 226. The Suns are plus 205 on the money line, and the Kings are minus 250. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip-off tomorrow. Lineups for this game are supposed to be, let's see if we can find it, for the Kings, Fox, Hooter, DeRozan, Murray and Sabonis and the Suns are playing right now so they haven't input a lineup for tomorrow they're in the fourth quarter they're up by 13 on the Jazz so we're going to roll with who they started today Beal, Dunn, Plumley, Booker, Jones yet again I'm just fathoming they're going to do the same thing in back-to-back nights we shall see Head to head, which means against each other, the Kings are six and four. The road team's on a two game winning streak. The home team is five and five. The eight favorite is eight and two on the money line. The favorite is six and four against the spread. The over under is five and five. And the over at 226 is six and four. We saw this very same matchup the other night, and I'm pretty sure KD played in the game in which the Kings won in overtime 127 118. Or no, that might have been the first game that he was actually out. I have to backtrack and think about that. The Suns, not including the game that they're playing right now, are 8-2 and two in their last 10 games, and they are 3-7 and seven against the spread. So they're winning, they're not covering. 234, 227, 227, 245. Yet again, not including the game they're playing right now against the Jazz because there's pretty much half a quarter to go. Two-point win, didn't cover. Three-point win, didn't cover. One-point win, they did cover because they were underdogs. And then a nine-point loss, obviously, they didn't cover. They were favorites. For the Kings... 2-2 two and two in their last four, 229, 205, then 245, and then 212. 15-point win they covered, 9-point loss they did not cover, 9-point win they covered, and then a 20-point loss they did not cover. It's just amazing because I kind of figured that something like that would happen when they went back-to-back against the, the Spurs and Suns. I'm going to take the Kings on the money line. I will take the Spurs getting the points, and I'm going to go over in this one. I think the back-to-back hurts the Suns. The Kings having the day off will help them. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.